Hello, I'm Daniil, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, guidance, uh, advice, and um, I want to talk this morning in my little corner of the, uh, the Great White North and Merritt Island and the Niagara region. I want to talk this morning about uh, spreading joy, spreading happiness, something that, of course, was, was promoted by uh, uh, Rabbeinu, uh, Rabbi Nachman uh, of Breslov. And um, I'm reminded of the Gemara in, uh, I believe it's Tanis, where there's a rabbi, <coughs> Ben, uh, let me get this name right, Baraka Chosa'a. Baraka Chosa'a. Not the most common name in the world, I had to check my note. And um, this rabbi, uh, happened to be in a marketplace, a very busy, crowded marketplace, and he runs into Elijah the prophet, the Eliyahu Hanavi. So he goes up to him, strikes up a conversation, and he's dying to ask, this is a very crowded marketplace, and he asks the prophet, Eliyahu, in this crowd of people, are there anyone who, are, who is guaranteed to get into Shemaim, in Loilam Abo, into heaven, the, the world to come. And the uh, prophet looks around and says, well, there's a lot of people over here. And some of them may, some of them may not. But I tell you, guaranteed to get in, two men. Those two guys over there. They're, they're getting in for sure. So, of course, the rabbi is, like, fascinated. He wants to know, what is it? What's the secret? runs up to these two men and he says uh, he introduces himself uh, he introduces himself and he says uh, uh, gentlemen uh, you guys are obviously uh, uh, great great tzaddikim great men the guys are looking at him saying what are you talking about he says are, are, are you great uh, uh, sages are you Torah scholars and the guys so the guys say no not particularly I mean you know we're not better than anyone else we're probably worse than most um, he says oh uh, uh, are, are you rich people? Are, are you philanthropists? Or do you give to, to, to charity? And he says, well, not more than anyone else. He says, well, do you do this? Do you do that? And the guys are very plain, ordinary, simple Jews. And he says, no. And so the rabbi is, is perplexed. He says, well, how do you spend your days? So the two men says, well, to tell you the truth, when we get together, when we have some spare time, we walk around like we're doing today in the marketplace. And whenever we see someone who's sad, whenever we see somebody who's down, we do what we can to lift them up, to, be, uh, to make them happy. We'll tell them an amusing story, uh, we'll, we'll tell them a joke, whatever we can to lift the spirits of this downhearted person. And when we do, uh, he's a changed person. And uh, this really uh, points out, this Gemara and Tanis really uh, points out uh, the important thing. When you see someone who is down, and when you lift them up, you're giving them life. You're giving them life. And in some cases, you could be saving their lives. But you're definitely, you're breathing life uh, into this person because a sad, sad, depressed person is basically as if he was dead. He has no hope. And you lift them up. It's very, very important. We're going to be doing a, a few more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniil, and thank you too much.